Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust your sharing settings in Google. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a file, just a brand new random file. Uh, just so you know if you're in Google Drive, you can do any of these things. I'm going to make a Google Doc, because that's what you'll probably most commonly use. And this is the document. Now you might notice it has no name uh, yet, but what you might also notice is that over here, the share button has a little lock icon on it. Now what that means is, I'm the only one who can view this document. So if I was a student, if I were to uh, take the link for this document and I were to give it to my teacher, uh, my teacher would not be able to see it. And if we're dealing with an assignment here, that means your teacher would not be able to grade it. So if you want other people to be able to see your work, you will click on the blue box right here, and it'll make you name it first. So we'll say sample. And there are a couple of ways to go about this. You might have done this before where you add somebody's name and, um, oh look at that, there's some options there. Um, but that is not the best way to go about it because what they have to do then is they have to open their email, they have to click on the link and they have to basically uh, get in there. Now this is good if you want to add specific people with like edit access, but the best way to share a document is to go to advanced down here. And again, you'll notice who has access It'll say that you have access, which means it's private. This is that link right here, but again, unless somebody has access to it, that link is really no good. So what you want to do is you want to click change, and it'll give you a whole it'll give you a whole bunch of options here. So it'll basically explain each one of these pretty well, but just so I can be thorough, uh, on means it's public on the web, which means somebody can search it in Google. They don't have to sign into anything. This is just anybody in the world. Um, this is a common one you might use, anyone with the link. So anybody, doesn't have to be in red clay, can access your document if they have this link. The difference between this and the previous one is if people uh, do a Google search, they will not be able to just find this. It's not public information. Now, this one is if somebody is within our um, network, meaning that they have an at red clay schools email address, um, and they're logged into that uh, at red clay schools email address, they'll be able to search for this document. If I click this one, uh, they have to be in red clay, and they can't just search for the document to find it. They have to actually have the link. So uh, this is what you had done before, off specific people. That's like if you invite somebody. Um, just so that your teachers can see it, I recommend using uh, this one, or even better yet, this one. And if you're worried about privacy, you know, unless somebody actually has the link, um, they can't access the document. Now, the danger there, potentially, is somebody with the link at red clay uh, takes it and gives it to somebody else or republishes it somewhere, then yes, anybody could see it. So if you want to make sure that it stays within our network, then you would click right on this one. So the second part of this is you have to tell uh, Google what you want these people to be able to do. So right now, the access is anyone within Red Clay School District can see the document, but they will not be able to make changes. Um, so on theirs, it'll come up as view only. But you can change that to can comment, which means that they can make suggestions, but they can't actually change the body of your work, or can edit. And so, oops, if you've got it as can edit, you would click save. And now anybody who has this link in the Red Clay School District has the ability to edit your document. Um, if you are turning in an assignment to a teacher, I highly recommend, and your teacher might require, that you select this option. Uh, because with this, the teacher can go in and see when edits were made and also make edits themselves as well. And that is how you share a uh, Google document, whether it's a Google Doc or a slide or Google Sheets, any of that stuff, uh, with either your, your fellow students or your teachers. I hope that helps, and good luck.